Hi, you are welcome to CSF TV. This is yet another episode of Common Sense versus Religion. Today, I'm here to talk about the favorite heaven and hell net created by especially Islam and Christianity. You know, anytime you encounter a Christian or a Muslim in a dialogue, okay, and to talk about their religion and this heaven and hell, there is one thing that they always say to people. They go like, they choose to worship in their religion, no matter how it is. When they die and there is no heaven, they have not lost anything. But when they die and there is heaven, they will go and you have lost. Well, today let's analyze this saying with common sense and critical thinking and see if these people truly use their head. This is it. It is a fact that we have 4,300 religions across the whole world. Yes. And out of these 4,300 religions, they all claim to come from a God. Okay. So let's say it's true. What this means is this. The chances of Christianity and Islam being the right religion is one out of 4,300. So as a Christian, you have to battle with 4,300 religions to be the right religion. And as a Muslim, you have to battle 4,300 religions to be the right religions. Meaning your chances of going to this heaven becomes one out of 4,300. Mathematics. Now, let's enter the Christian faith itself. When you enter Christianity, we have 45,000 Christian denominations in the whole world right now. 45,000 Christian denominations all claiming to be the right and the true church. Meaning, all these 45,000 religions, they have doctrines that they claim this is what is leading them to this heaven. Let's look at the Jehovah's Witness. They claim only 144,000 people are making this heaven. And even since creation till today, the few left are all going to come from the Jehovah's Witness. If that is true, meaning, as a Christian, even if you have won with this 4,300 other religions, you are now coming to battle with your own denominations, meaning you still stand a chance, a probability of one out of 45,000 denominations to make it to heaven. One out of 45,000 to be the true denominations making it to heaven. If you're Muslim, today, we, there are seven main Islamic sects that we know right now. The known. But the prophet has already said in a hadith that his people are going to be divided into 73 sects. And out of these 73 sects, only one sect will make it to Jannah. That is heaven. So even as a Muslim, if you have been able to battle with all these 4,300 religions and be the true religion, you still have 73 other sects to battle, to be the right person that is making Jannah, may giving you a probability of one out of 73 to make it to Jannah. Now, this is common sense. We say, if there is a God, the God has not created any religion. You have not seen this God before. So the only way to serve this God is by serving humanity and be a good person. In case you die and there is some heaven, then you stand a chance. Don't follow doctrine, don't follow dogma. Now, they have this other analogy. The Christians are like, it's either there is no heaven or the heaven is a Christian heaven. Or it's either there is no heaven or the heaven is an Islamic heaven. This is what they also don't think about. What if you die and there is heaven, but the heaven is a Hindu heaven? What if you die and there is a heaven, but the heaven is actually a Jewish heaven? What if you die and there is a heaven and the heaven is actually a Krishna heaven? What if you die and there is a heaven, but the heaven is also a traditionalist heaven? Meaning you did not serve any of these religions, so you also don't go to go to heaven. And if you put all this analogy into practice, we all end up in hell. 
when you want to look at all this, let's say everyone's heaven made is true, meaning we all end up in hell because the Christians will definitely end up in the Islamic hell. The Muslims will definitely end up in a Christian hell. The Hindus will end up in some hell. We, the common sense people, will also definitely end up in a hell. So we all go to hell. So don't be thinking either the heaven is for you or there is no heaven. Think of the probability where the heaven might also be a Hindu, a Buddhist, a Jewish, a traditionalist, a Shinto heaven. Anything, just think about this. This is common sense and critical thinking. I'll end this episode here. I'll be with you with another fantastic episode. Tune in and keep watching. Common sense family, if the brain refuses to work, the body suffers. Thank you all.